Man, oh man, what's going on, people? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk. A whirlwind of a story and stories all this weekend long. I hope you guys all enjoy. This one is just, I love when people can roast organizations back and forth, a bit of banter. And I used to love talking about esports rebrands. One in particular, as of about 24 hours ago, was certainly in question. Now, I, I want to say, when it comes time for the organization known as HR or Heck Razors, <laughs> You guys probably know why I'm saying that. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to say their old logo was necessarily that great either, so this new one might not be that bad in comparison, but the way they announced it and what happened afterwards, it was, um, it was a shimmy of events. They first took the Twitter with a, a, um, a weird timeline of events as well. As they said, we started in 2014. Do you remember Flappy Bird and Harlem Shake? We don't either. It's been 10 years, and a lot has changed, so it's time we made an upgrade to 2014 plus 10 the year is 2024 HR is now four years ahead of the game and their rebrand may maybe not seen uh, uh, quite like that in case you guys did miss it they took quite a bit away from their logo kind of like Fnatic took a little dash away I still think Fnatic you know obviously a much more well-noted organization and a pretty good rebrand I'm not trying to knock on Fnatic fans out there but kind of down the same alley HR took their old logo and just took away pretty much all of it. У нашей стаи свои правила и принципы. Говорим прямо в лоб, а не за глаза. Решаем проблемы, а не уходим от них. Вдохновляем и ведем за собой. Уважаем свою стаю. Стаю эндердогов. And what followed, guys, well, I would say a majority of people that I saw not necessarily pleased with this very simplistic design, which we have seen in the past. Remember Team Crazy from CSGO, what they changed things up to? Really just, you know, two lines, and I think that eventually that logo did win at least some people over. It also kind of reminds me of a crossover between that and the Dr. Disrespect logo, which is very ironic the times we're in right now, you know, kind of just the, that look of things. But it did continue because even other organizations that we have seen before, you know, when 100 Thieves had that one particular merch drop, people were not very proud of. G2, other organizations hopped on the hate train. And, well, Immortals, they hopped on this train saying, hey, guys, we just got our brows done. And even changing their overall logo, literally putting HR's eyebrow logo on their own uh, Immortals logo, which uh, I'm going to say it, guys, was pretty funny and a pretty good jab until they continued to jab and then went even further with the Immortals social media, which if you guys understand the background details of all these social media teams, Immortals in particular, I won't give details, but Immortals social media at one point in time with a particular Counter-Strike Pro it didn't necessarily go over very well. If you know, you know. They did continue to say, though, 100, they actually went and targeted 100 Thieves merch, which, again, has been brought up. It seems like every time you talk about merch or apparel, 100 Thieves is mentioned. They tried to take it one step further with a good joke, which sparked a whole result of its own. Of course, mainly the mob member, that being Classify, my boy. And uh, he took to try and ratio them and successfully did so in several replies. I don't think you want, if there's one battle you don't want to start with 100 Thieves, it's probably over merch and apparel, but hey, that's just my two cents. That's just my take. Even more so, if you are Immortals Gaming and you understand the background of them buying out the old Optic Gaming brand, whenever you bring up merch or any kind of fight, you're going to have old Optic members like Aaron, uh, you know, mentioning other things as well. So Immortals not really looked upon in the best light by some regards out there for obvious reasons. They take a good jab at HR, they keep on jabbing at 100 Thieves and pay a little bit of a price. But either way, I love this kind of beef, this kind of detailed back and forth between social media teams and figures out there. What do you guys think about the HR rebrand? Because that's the subject of today's video. I never know how to judge rebrands because it's always... It's always, I feel like you can't please everyone. I think if by far majority rebrands we see usually go unliked until they grow on people. This one in particular seems to be towards the, um, I would say maybe the not so good end of things that we have seen countless now of esports rebrands. But hey, 
Just my two cents. I would love to talk about it with all of you guys. Until next time, drink that water, drink that coffee. We got a lot better stories than this one. This one just had so many little bitty angles I wanted to touch on and so many figures involved. It was hard not to take my own take on it. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon.